Hey guys. We got this new mood ring. It's 7 Eleven. It's a mustache. Pretty awesome. Um, today's video is gonna be about stereotypes. What did you just say? Hey, look, it's my fugitive who I do not hide in my room. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? Everybody needs a fugitive in the room. I mean, come on. <laughs> They're like the life of the party, man. Yeah. They're like awesome. Especially since I'm probably gonna go to jail in the future. She's gonna have to hide me. To like awesome sauce. I, I use that term now. That term's pretty cool. I'm okay with that term. So today's video is stereotypes. Woo We're gonna clear oh, up some I feel, of them, maybe. I feel like Dora. Say it with me. <laughs> stereotypes. <laughs> I don't know how to say it in Spanish though, so look it up. Well, I'm gonna be taking Spanish next year, so. You know what? No. No. You can just go to Google Translate. No. Yeah, you. That, go to Google Translate. Figure it out yourself. So today's video is stereotypes, and Allie needs to get out some feelings <sighs> about her stereotypes that people most so many, often mistake. And you it pisses me off. And seriously, I'm sorry. I'm you know sorry. what? No. <laughs> I need- I mean, I, oh my gosh, you know what? You do this. Watch out. I'm gonna go get a bottle of water. <laughs> I'll be right back. That's two. I'm so screwed. She said she would pull, you know, pour water on me each time I swore. I'm screwed. I'm gonna hide. Even if I hide, it won't work. Sorry. You'll proceed. <laughs> well, I have at least five stereotypes to get out of the way, so maybe six. I don't know. Knowing Emma, this is gonna take a while. Well, um, I am Allie, since she's probably gonna introduce me as this is a person named Allie. I I have a channel of my own, it's called Allie Angel of Darkness, and I will put a link in here, hopefully. So you guys can visit my channel, comment, do all that, and apparently I'm only allowed to swear in my video, so... Oh, shit! <laughs> Not again! Yeah. Damn it! I just swore! Damn! Five. For the record, when I was leaving, I stubbed my toe really hard on my bookcase, and I seriously might think it's possibly broken. You can't break a toe from a bookcase. No, yeah, you can't. I, I, I don't know, it hurts. Hopefully he's not changing color. Uh, unfortunately, well, we were not. We we did not have a spray bottle, so. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. But that was seven. <laughs> For future reference. I already explained what to do, what you were doing with the water, and who I was, and how many stereotypes I have to clear up. Oh, so you're done? No, I didn't, you know, explain. Then continue. Well, my hands wet. One stereotype is people call me emo. I mean, emo. Yes. No, I'm not emo. I don't cut myself. I am punk. Yes, there is a difference. Punks usually wear, you know, Blacks, grays, whites, and a lot of, you know, metal things like this, or, you know, this kind of stuff. Or a mustache that's Because we, we don't cut ourselves. We actually have feelings. We're not, you know... We have feelings. Yeah, we do. And we're not full-on, you know, colorful people, but, you know. Then there's goth. All black. They don't really have that many emotions, and apparently in Mobile's, my friend Michael Mobile's terms, all goths will turn out whores. I killed him. He, that he, has no logic behind he, it. Yeah, I don't know. He doesn't most have a the, conscience. Most of the stuff we say on here is no logic, but that that's one of the most illogical things I've yes. heard. Yes, but I, I hit him upside the head and I almost broke his wrist, so it's okay. <laughs> yes, because violence solves everything in Violence is always the answer. In Allie's world it is. Yes. Okay, well, yes, punks, black, don't have that much feeling. It's because they've been, you know harmed a lot throughout their life that they don't open up that much, so they always keep to themselves. I was a goth for a year or so. And then, emo, yes, cutting themselves. They ha wear all colors, except they're more muted, you know, darker, like, 
I would say something like this, but a lot darker. <laughs> I got used in a reference. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> My life is complete. No, not really. And then scene, they are more preppy kind of people. They were, you know, this is actually like a bright lime green. They wear this. I, I they wear I bright colors. Yes, they wear bright colors such as this. Awesome. And then they have really. And of course, Ben rocks. Yes, it does. Ben rocks people's socks off. So. <laughs> yeah. And then my last comment on stereotypes. Ray William Johnson stereotype song. Oh. I am sorry. I I don't care if he. <laughs> you have to check it out. It's um. I think that's what it's called, the stereotype song. The stereotype song by your favorite Martian. <laughs> Dear Lord, I am Scottish and Irish, and I am I am a lot of other you know nationalities as well. But those are the two that I embrace the most. And it pissed me off when he said Scotsman hump sheep. What the hell? Shit. <laughs> you mean that? I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm glad your toe got hurt. Thanks. It's just, it's, okay, don't splash me with this. It pisses me off <laughs> that, don't you dare, that they think Scotsmen hump sheep. And Scotsmen won't hump sheep unless they're, unless they're really horny teenage Scottish boys. I and mean, even then, American teenage boys would Yeah, do but that. we don't have any sh sheep around here. I must look shit. I just sorry. I caught my foot on that one, too. <laughs> we don't have sh that many sheep in America unless it's on a farm, so. Alright, well. Any stereotypes you want to clear up? Well, in my attempt, attempt, to try to shorten my videos, the next video will be on high school stereotypes. Mm. So I hope you enjoyed Allie's views on yes, that. I had a lot of views. I'm and sorry. from now on, I'm going to spray her with water. Damn it. Stay tuned. <laughs> Bye. Bye.